So in today's video, I have an exciting one. I'm gonna be trying new makeup because I am all about looking for new stuff for the springtime. And when it comes to makeup, I really love like a glowy look. Springtime is when I really want to revamp absolutely everything. It's called spring cleaning for a reason. I don't want this video to be too, too long. We're just gonna get into the video. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing that I'm gonna be trying is an eye cream. This is from Biosance. This is their squalene and marine algae eye cream i don't know about you guys but when i feel like my under eyes aren't as hydrated as the rest of my face my concealer just looks awful so this is really 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 gonna help with hydrating underneath the eyes and especially if you're using like a pretty thick concealer you want to ensure that the hydration is under there and you're fully equipped for it. And next up, I'm gonna be using a primer. This is the Secure the Sweat by One Size. And if you guys know me, if you guys have been following me on TikTok, I've been talking about their blush, their cheek clapper blush for a while now. And I really want to get my hands on it, but every single Sephora that I go to, they're always sold out. So fingers crossed, maybe one day Patrick Star and I will cross paths, but they did send me this primer. So we'll see what the hold power is. It's giving medicine for the packaging. Um, I'm so used to ointments because I have keratosis on my arms and this is exactly how the medicine is to be opened So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this on to the face Oh my god, the texture of this primer is honestly really nice It feels thick where it feels like it's gonna be like tacky enough But it's still gonna mattify your face or so we hope so we'll see how that goes throughout the day I don't know if I want to do before or after my foundation here But I think I'll do both because i'm really trying to channel that glow This is the rare beauty positive light in the color mesmerize the girl at the sephora counter suggested that I try this shade I wanted to go a little bit darker just so that I I have like a glow underneath my foundation but we'll see if anything i can always exchange it which is actually insane that sephora lets you do that um i honestly am not complaining because the amount of times i get the wrong shade of things like it's a lot i am just gonna put this in the high points of my cheeks here and i think also down my nose i think i want to do it there just to give you guys a little swatch this is the highlight so stunning it's literally blinding i think i'm just gonna go in with my sponge here and just blend it in like i don't know what's better is this gonna work better with a brush or sponge i guess we'll see absolutely blinding absolutely stunning i'm honestly not surprised though because rare beauty just always hits and i don't know why it took me so long to actually use everything else besides their blush let me know if you guys are team selena or Haley because that has just been all over my for you page for way too long now and it's time to go one thing that i like to do with all of my foundations or any kind of thing that has a tint to it i like to use my elf halo glow liquid filter because it just adds more glow to the face and i love that for me so so i'm just gonna use this as like a light sheer layer underneath my skin first the shade that i'm using it is fair one but look at the glow coming in we love to see it i'm torn between using like my og foundation or a new tinted moisturizer i don't know I feel like I want to just use my OG because I know that it works. But for the sake of this video and we're trying new things, let's use this one. But if you guys are wondering, I use the Rare Beauty Foundation in the color 130N. But let's see this. You can definitely tell that yesterday I tried to self-tan, but it didn't work out. So let's hope this is a good shade to match this little mix match color. This is the One Size Turn Up the Base BB Cream. I got it in the color Light 3N, so light neutral. I honestly can't give you a really good swatch right now because of the color of my arms, but that is the shade. So I feel like low-key this will go well with my self-tanner. It's kind of like a thick consistency. So I saw Sagonia on YouTube talk about putting the product onto your back of your hand first and then you can transfer it onto your skin. Apparently it just helps with being thorough with the blending, so we shall see. So I just put some on my sponge and I'm just gonna go in and lightly press this all in. Thoughts on the shade match? I really can't tell. So I also have to just keep in mind this product is a BB cream, so it's not meant to have super full coverage, which I'm honestly okay with. But so far from what I see, I feel like the shade match is not that bad at all. This is the base. I really wanted like a natural thing. I actually do have a pimple patch 
on my forehead right now because I have the biggest crater on my face and I didn't want to clog it with makeup. Thoughts on the base right now. I am honestly obsessed with how it's looking right now but that reminds me of a comment i'm so sorry to get sidetracked right now but i was doing a video on tiktok and my skin was looking very dewy and like that's the vibe that i wanted it was summertime and this person i obviously won't name names because to be honest i don't remember that person anymore they commented whoever said that oily skin is in trend now completely lied to you and i was just aware that my face was very oily but then i was kind of just like contemplating like is this dewy look for me like am i always gonna have to do matte makeup but that is never the case sis okay so if you are the same as me and you have oily skin go ahead and do that dewy look because who the f cares okay i'm gonna be trying this tower 28 sculptino in the shade broad it's basically a soft contour cream i love cream contours i don't know when the last time was that i used a powder contour i'm absolutely obsessed with how cute tower 28's packaging is so tower 28 actually sent me 12 million products in this lovely box they sent me the beach please blush they sent over like a bunch of lip products that i'm excited to try today i was honestly so grateful and everybody kept saying that this product this facial spray is amazing so i'm so excited to try her so i think for this i'm just gonna go in with a little buffing brush that i use for most of my contours and i'm just gonna buff it into the product first it's honestly, again, very, very light. It's not as heavy duty as my other ones. I always find myself buying bronzers that are way too dark for me and it just doesn't look natural and subtle. So I think this shade is actually a 10 out of 10. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I think also if I wasn't like self-tanned and using a darker shade than usual on my face, this will probably look really good with my everyday foundation. Um but it's like so subtle and natural. It's definitely giving my face a little bit more structure and I feel like a little bit more chiseled here. Like you guys can kind of see here, like my cheekbones are kind of coming out a little bit better. Now for my next thing, I'm kind of torn in between which shade I should be using. I kind of want to brighten up under my eyes a little bit. So I'm going in with this ColourPop Pretty Fresh Concealer in the shade Fair 20N and I swear this is the lightest shade that they have um, but it's really nice because I do find that I have no creasing at all whatsoever with this product and now that I'm adding this shade in I'm really noticing how dark my face got <laughs> but this concealer I swear to you I've worn it for like 12 hours a day and it looked so fresh it literally looks like I just did my makeup and it was insane I was kind of shook okay yes or no i think yes moving on i'm honestly so excited to try their beach please blush because i always hear such good things on tiktok about it so i need to try it for myself i'm like struggling to open these because i don't have nails right now like at all like they're literally nubs okay i just had to use my mouth there because my nails aren't done i promise you i'm getting my nails done next week so don't look at them I'm using the blush in the color Magic Hour. I think this will be a cute look. I'm still trying to figure out what pool will work better with these cream products because I'm still a new user to cream stuff. Oh my god, look at this shade. But literally, look at my makeup right now. I'm honestly obsessed with how it's looking. I'm definitely just gonna have to set under my eyes afterwards, but I think the shade honestly looks so so bomb that blended out like a dream i think that my skin still looks very very like subtle nothing too crazy i'm just gonna go in with my sponge and just lightly dab around it i'm just gonna go in with a translucent powder to really set my face with a really small brush just so that i'm not touching too much of the dew um so i'm just gonna go underneath the eyes here i really 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 don't want to crease today so i'm just gonna ensure everything is intact underneath my eyes i got this blush also at sephora and i don't know if it's gonna look good with today but i don't know guys do i try it well, i'll show you guys what it looks like why is this not opening so i got this house labs one in place of the one size one that i wanted and it's in the color dragon fruit look how stunning this is 
I think I have to try it. Okay, so it's supposed to be like a powder one and we shall see what it looks like. It's so pigmented. I'm just gonna put it... Oh my god, it's so pigmented. You can't... You can't tell me this is not pigmented. This is beautiful, guys. I'm actually obsessed absolutely beautiful i need it like it doesn't smell like anything which is good because i'm really bad at that to even also say that i didn't set in like this area where my blush was like it's blending so nicely guys i'm obsessed with how my makeup is looking today yes i feel like i'm honestly not minding the fact that i put the highlighter underneath my foundation and i feel like my face is already like glistening enough where i don't need to put more so tower 28 also sent their multi-liner lip liner so i'm definitely gonna be using her right now and it's just like a pencil like it's not like a retractable one which honestly i don't mind i feel like the retractable ones don't give you enough product this is a nice shade i really like this they sent me the shade chill which i think is just their clear one and then the color coconut which i'm kind of intrigued to see what the shade is and i've used their gloss before i have the shade pistachio and i'm absolutely obsessed with it coconut is so close to my nickname so i'm excited okay but can we talk about how nice this shade is my wrist can't move like that but if you guys can see i feel like i look ugly when i put lip gloss on so don't look at me moment of truth for my bangs though i'm kind of scared Let's see okay do you guys see what i mean not the worst honestly i don't mind it but it's giving 90s 90s 80s era i have to figure out how i'm gonna go on with my day to secure this blush in the completed look let me know what you guys think of it i honestly i am obsessed with how good it turned out today and i feel very like light and everything just seems very dewy and natural so i'm loving that make sure you guys are following me on my tiktok and my instagram i will link both of those in the description box for you guys and also be sure to subscribe if you liked today's video and i'll see you guys in my next one